<laughs> Get the life, nerd. Hey everybody, Alkali Lake here, back again for part three of the Bane build. And oh my gosh, are you guys ready for this? Money. It's all about money. And nobody wants to talk about this part. It's not our favorite part. It's actually, it's the scary parts. But <sighs> breathe. Wait, I'm telling you guys to breathe. I need to breathe. It's going to be okay. I've done the numbers and they are scary. It, they are scary, but it's going to be okay. We have flexibility. We've got some wiggle room, but you know what? This is part of tackling a big build, especially if it's going to be a competition build. Uh, with competition builds, we don't always have a lot of time. Sometimes we're given deadlines and you need to know, can I afford this? And if I can't afford this, can I make the money I need to make <laughs> in time to be able to complete the cosplay? So deep breath, get ready. We're talking about cosplay and we're talking about money. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna show you my thought process and how I put together my budget. It's all over the place and I wanna show you this because nobody's perfect and I want you to know if you try to do this on your own and it looks messy, it's Fine, I cleaned up a sheet to show you guys, but it's important you see what goes on inside my head and it looks a lot like this. So this was the previous list we worked on with like the build segments, the materials needed. And then in this third column, the cost column, I attempted to put together, you know, a breakdown of cost per unit. However, that is much too complicated. I realized as I started, you know, doing like, oh, you know, a quarter of a sheet of this or a full sheet of this was just much too complicated to keep track of it. But I did write down how much of a sheet I would need. That way I would have an idea of how many sheets I needed. I really started keeping track of the costs somewhere down here. But I put that all together for you and I've broken down this build uh, by cost into um, a few main parts. Pattern, assemble and build. Prime, paint, seal, attach, and accessorize. And to make this easy for you, I have this broken down into a very easy to read, very easy to understand document for you on how I broke down the cost of Bane. So let's get started. Uh, again, I actually wanted to show you before we got started, one last look at Bane Bloodhoof. This is a torrent from World of Warcraft. I'm using art provided by Wowhead. Um, I will link that below so you can find uh, sources for World of Warcraft art. It is my favorite source to find um, very detailed pictures. Sometimes they have these 3D models. So once again, we are working on Bane Bloodhoof. Uh, it is a Torin from World of Warcraft. And we're going to jump right in to patterning. This is always step one. And let's talk about the cost of patterning. So for patterning, I pattern a little bit different than other people. I like to pattern on a two millimeter craft foam. I know this is more expensive. You can do it a lot cheaper. You can use butcher's paper. You can use wax paper. You can use newspaper, whatever you want to use. But I really like using craft foam because it gives it a little bit of rigidness and I get to work in foam before working in the actual density of foam I want to work with. A 30 pack of foam is usually about $15. You can see a pack right here on Amazon. But for funsies, I like to build in the multicolored foam that looks something like this. Be careful when you're buying two millimeter craft foam uh, because you're going to want the 9 by 12 inch stuff. They make it in like 5 by 7 and other tiny pieces, but there's no way you're going to be able to build on those tiny pieces. One of the reasons why I like this size of sheet is because you're often doing leg armor, and I found that this length will wrap around the entire lower half of my leg. So, kind of cool. Anyway, $14 for craft foam if that's what you aim to do. Now, there are cheaper ways to do this, and it, that do not involve using craft foam. So if you wanna save $15, then don't use this. Use something cheap like newspaper or computer paper. But I like the $15 expense, and you can shoot two millimeter craft foam through your Cricut, and you can do detail work with it. So double purchase, uh, double purpose, and I also think that the patterns uh, hold up longer. So that's the patterning cost for this build, $15. Now the next part of the build is assembling and building. Now this is where things get complicated and I know you can see, I know you can see it down here. Don't be scared, don't be scared, it's okay, it's okay. Um, going back to our original Excel spreadsheet, uh, we can tell that I had detailed out the materials I needed. 
So I broke these down and separated them all out um, just so I was able to figure out the basics um, instead of having foam listed a bunch of times like it is here. So back to the sheet, we can see that the big costs of the suit are, are of the build are muscle suit and digi stilts. So let's revisit that. All right, so this is Willow Creative, and I'm just going to do this quickly because we already revisited it in the previous video. And if you go to her build logs and then go to Digi Stilts, you'll see her uh, materials listed here. So what I did was I just highlighted and copy pasted these things and put them in Google and was able to pull up pricing. Most of this is available on Amazon. So to make it simple on yourself, if you're going to make these, go to her page, copy paste. That's what I did. Um, it basically comes down to $103.49. That's what I was able to price these at. If you want to go more expensive and not have to deal with the trouble of making digi stilts, then you can buy them between $200 and $300 on Amazon. Just be sure to be careful and make sure that you find the digi stilts that fit your weight because they are sold by the weight that they can support. So digi stilts, whew, a whopping $103 of the build. Moving on to muscle suit. How did I come up with the price for a muscle suit? Well, I went back to SKS Props Instructables build and I very meticulously went through this and they were so, he was so kind to list their materials. I didn't need all of these materials, so I only added up the ones that I would need and I have the muscle suit at approximately $170. <laughs> I know you at home who's never made a big build is like alkali girl. No, did you just say one of seven of zero? Yeah, I did, but I can't compromise on this part of the build. It's one of the few parts of the build I cannot compromise on. Like with the digi stilts we just talked about, you can sub out a lot of those metal materials for wood or, you know, decrease the cost there. But if you're going to decrease your costs, make sure that you gauge how much weight your stilts are going to be supporting, for example. So, even though I'm making this complex breakdown about how much things cost, I'm also going to be educating you on how you can decrease your costs. So if you can decrease costs, cool. Right now I have patterning, like I said, can be decreased quite a bit, almost down to free. If you're going to use newspaper, for example, this muscle suit on this build cannot be compromised on. I cannot. This is a main component of the build. It's structural. It's what everything sits on. So this $170 to me is necessary. The digi stilts necessary. So these are items I am not going to compromise on. Okay, next up on this list for assembling and build, we have foam. I'm going to save you some time. I'm seriously saving you some time here. TNT Cosway Supply, in my personal opinion, has the best foam. Um, I am recommending their mega sheets because they cut like butter. I'm not kidding. They cut like butter. Like I've cut through a lot of foam, you guys, and it is amazing. I just, I love the mega foam in particular. Um, now, uh, a lot of other people provide foam too. Go with what you're comfortable with. Um, I am going to need one sheet of four millimeter, two sheets of six millimeter, and one sheet of 10 millimeter. Now, uh, this, these supplies I actually already have, so they are not gonna be part of the cost for my build. I already have the foam but I'm going to put them in the cost of uh, this sheet so you can see what the full build would cost if I did have to pay for everything outright. I do think that the mega sheet of foam is a very good price. Um, and actually, when I was building uh, this craft table behind me, which upcoming video, um, when I was building this behind me, I made sure that the top would handle a giant piece of mega foam. So TNT Cosplay Supply, if you're listening, I, I purposely made this fit your mega sheets because I got tired of having to lay them on the floor. Anywho, sidetracked, um, you can add up this here. It's looking like it's like 83, another hundred. It's like $110 um, in foam. Again, this is not an area I'm going to compromise on. Um, foam is co uh, composing the big parts of the build. Now, this foam, um, I did do, we have a couple things that are doubled here. Uh, and that's because I wasn't sure if I was going to print some things or make some things in foam. So the cost is kind of in here twice. Um, and also I have zero experience in 3D printing. So the 3D printing cost is going to be off as well. Work with what you're comfortable with. But to make this build, this is about how much it would cost in 
foam. Now, if you are going to 3D model a lot of this stuff and print it, that cost could be different. All right, leather. Uh, I'm actually going to be going with a faux leather to be friendly and kind to the animals. And I found some great faux leather from Amazon.com, actually. And I really like this. It says PETA approved vegan. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. If you want to use leather, cool. Uh, if you don't, I think this is a great option. It's a really good price and it comes in lots of different colors. I like the camel color and I also liked this uh, distressed brown that I first had it over. It's got some really nice crackling. It already looks aged. Um, I can sand it down in certain areas to make it look more aged. You know, 20 bucks, not so bad. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I'm going to be ordering a small amount first just to test it out. And also, this is another thing in my build that I happen to have um, some in stock already. So I actually don't have to pay for this. But, you know, again, I'm going to keep uh, saying this over and over. You should write out your costs anyway, even if you already have some of the materials, because you might have to replace some. And it's good to know ahead of time how much that's going to be. Now, I want to revisit something because in the last video, video number two, if you want to go back and look at that, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this belt and what I wanted to do uh, with the totem strap that holds the totems on his back. And I have officially decided I am going to go with beadwork because this is going to be a competition piece and I really want it to stand out. I really want to do a good job. So we are doing beads and I'm really excited about it. I found this website called The Bead Chest and they have some really great seed beads. Um, and under my recently viewed here, you can see that I looked at this dark turquoise bead and they're quite expensive. Um, I think it's like a, for it's like a one foot long, basically, um, row of seed beads. It's $14. So I'm going to go with these cheaper ones. Um, and then I'm going to order a few strands of the nicer ones. That way I can kind of mix in some other colors. Um, but these uh, seed beads here are only $2.99 and this is for a 13.5 inch strand. And as you can see, uh, they come in multiple colors. So I'll be doing something similar to this. So you can see on the price list here, I have approximately 20 strands of seed beads at $3 each is $60. This is another area of flexibility. Again, you can use paint. If you use paint, it's about $2 each for the tiny bottles of acrylic paint. So $4. So $4 or $60. Again, please, please make out your budget list based as if it was a wish list first. Write down like your top notch. This is what I want. If I didn't have to compromise anything, if I could make my dream car of cosplay, this would be it. So that's how I made this list. Um, we're going to head back on over to TNT Cosplay Supply here because uh, I'm going to be using quite a few dowels and I really wanted to use their triangle dowels, which are listed here. They're quite affordable, um, which is really nice. And I used to have to cut these by hand. So for me, this is an area, again, that is non-negotiable. <laughs> I am not, I am not cutting out triangular dowels ever again. Way too many cosplays have been spent or my time has been spent cutting these out. So as you can see in my build list here, 18 millimeter triangle dowels, uh, I need six of them. They're only $4 a piece, 24 bucks for me. I would be spending probably hours cutting these out and trying to get consistency. Oof, I am done. Yes, bring on the $24 anytime. I'll pay it. Um, also, when it comes to, I'm going to breeze through a few of these. We're not going to go in depth on all of them. Um, epoxy resin is from Smooth On. Uh, Thebra is going to be details on the prop horn. Thebra is about, you know, $50 for the medium sized sheets. Uh, these are areas that are flexible. You don't have to use like smooth on epoxy resin. I'm just going to be buying a bigger um, container of it because I plan to ha want to have more of it in stock. I'm tired of buying the tiny little Amazon containers of it that are $20 and you run out of them quickly. But if you only have the budget for $20, then sure, um, go ahead and go to Amazon. That's what I've been doing in the past. But uh, again, I want a bigger supply and it's more cost effective to get the larger amount, even though it's $30 up front. Um, and then again, Thebra, I have tons of leftover Warbler scraps that I could use to mold and make great shapes out of. But Thebra is easier to press into molds and I'm trying to be time efficient here. So time is going to be the next video that I'm going to be covering. Uh, budgeting your time is important. 
Um, this build I don't want to take all year. I'm hoping it will take less than five months, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so Thera will significantly reduce my time spent. So for this situation, I don't mind spending a little bit more money um, to uh, save myself time. Now, as far as the PLA 3D printing goes, um, I'm going to bring up some websites here and just show you a variation of cost. So I estimated my 3D print fiber is going to be about $125 because I think I'm going to mess up a lot. I've never done it before. I did have some that came as a Christmas gift, but I only have um, one kilogram of it. Uh, and that particular brand was, I think, $30. So as you can see, the price ranges. So it's going to depend on your budget. Um, three, uh, TNT Cosplay Supply has this uh, PLA printer filament for $17.50 right now for one kilogram. It is sold by weight. I want to show you if you just pull up a simple Google search, you can see on the side, you know, $28 for a kilogram, $36 at Walmart. If there's a Walmart close to you and you don't want to wait for shipping, um, if they even carry it locally, um, $20. Uh, this is the reason why I came up with the cost of $25. I just kind of threw a happy medium out here. Uh, work with what you're comfortable with. And if you're not sure, uh, make sure to join some Facebook 3D printing groups and ask around and I'm sure you'll get some good advice. Um, C4 sculpting clay is a given. Again, you can also pick this up from uh, TNT Cosplay Supply. I believe it's under specialty foams. It is. Here you go. Uh, this price was for the large tub. I go through so much of it that um, I don't buy the small tub anymore. And this can be substituted for the Thebra that I mentioned above as well. Uh, again, the reason I want to go with Thebra is just for different reasons. Uh, it has kind of a bubblegum texture when it's hot. Um, it molds very quickly and it's very, very smooth. Um, C4 can tend to dry out if you don't use your mold uh, quickly enough and if you're not ready to... Uh, adhere whatever you molded onto the surface so i just want some more workability time and i want to try a new product as well so anyhow uh, c4 is great for me c4 sculpting clay is again non-negotiable uh when it comes to fur i looked at some uh furry build sites uh and i've been watching a lot of youtube videos and i've come up with the fur is going to cost me about 132 dollars Again, this part is non-negotiable on my build. Uh, the fur is part of the muscle suit. It's going to be covering the muscle suit. And because uh, Bane, let's actually go back to Bane here. Because Bane has a very shorn, really tight looking fur, it's not like long fur. It's very close to his body, um, kind of like coarse hair would coarse like a coarse type not fuzzy hair so i'm gonna have to shear this fur down uh pretty close to the the pile of fabric that it's it's on and i don't want it to be see-through so for that i'm gonna spend a little bit extra money now if you're making a fur suit that is like super super furry and maybe wolf like or cat or dog like then yes i think you can go cheaper in the fur and you don't have to spend as much money Unfortunately, I happened to choose a build that's so freaking expensive, oh my god, um, that I have to buy uh, the more expensive materials. Back to our sheet here, we just have some extra what we call like sundry items, so thread, embroidery thread, PPC pipe, um, this stuff is, you know, just tiny little items that add up. I already have PVC pipe in my garage. I have tons of embroidery thread and thread, so I probably don't need to buy much more. But again, this is just to show you how much thread and all of that actually costs. I have an extra element of cost here at the bottom called Veriform, and it's $52. And that's because I visited Casplay's site on how to build a creature cosplay. Now she was sponsored by uh, cosplaysupplies.com for her build. So she did this as, you know, I, I don't know if she was paid for it, but it says sponsored. Um, and so she had to use Veriform for this for them. So I don't know necessarily if she would choose to use it again, but after reading in depth uh, and doing all of my research, which I encourage you to do your research, after reading all of this, I think Veriform is something I want to give a try. It looks very interesting. So for me, for learning purposes, I'm going to order Veriform. I watched a bunch of furry videos and creature suit videos on YouTube and you don't need this. This is an item that can be cut from your costs. Again, please go through your items and see what can I cut? What can I change? What's unnecessary for me um, and figure it out. But for me so far, pattern number one, $15. Uh, assemble and build, I'm at $988. 
Keep in mind, I already have most of this in stock. I personally am not gonna have to have this come out of my budget. But if you're doing a big build, this actually is a realistic cost of what materials can be. <sighs> I know, let that sink in, it's gonna be okay. All right, let's move on to the areas of the build that aren't quite as expensive. I bet you're ready for that. The rest of this, I'm gonna kind of uh, breeze through because um, if you've built before or if you've watched cosplay videos before, then you know these are necessary steps and they can't be changed very much. I'm gonna prime this uh, in Hexflex, which you can also get from TNT Cosplay Supply. Um, and I estimate that I'm gonna need three bottles of the brown Hexflex paints. Um, and this is going to cover most of the totems, the wrist bracers, the hooves, uh, pretty much most everything is getting covered in this and I need to do at least two coats. Also, brown's just a good color to have, so I'm gonna order three. Um, if I only need two, that's fine, but I know I'm gonna need two. Three's the baby. So 30 bucks, I think 30 bucks to prime is good. If you've ever primed with anything like, um, Plasti Dip or other spray primers, then you know those cans can be up to $7. They're between $5 and $7. And for a big build like this, I would need several cans. So I actually feel like the Hexflex is one of the cheaper ways I can do it. It's definitely not as cheap as like Mod Podging, but keep in mind this already has color built into it. So I'm super excited about that. I think it is about what I'd want to spend. Uh, for paints, I'm going to be using a lot of airbrush colors. You can find these on Amazon, at your local Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anywhere like that. Um, and uh, airbrush is definitely a more expensive paint, but you don't use very much of it. So, you know, you can, you can reduce your costs there. Acrylic paint is very inexpensive. I estimated I would need about, you know, five or six more colors because I already own so many. It's about $2 a bottle, so $10 for acrylic paint. I'm talking about the tiny little like folk art bottles. So subtotal on paint is going to be $50 and it might even be less because I already own most of the paint. Uh, to seal this cosplay, I am going to need a clear matte spray and I estimate I'm only going to need two cans because luckily there's actually not that much armor. It's mostly fursuit. So I only have to clear matte spray the totems and the hooves and the wrist guards, you know, horns, things like that, which isn't very much. I might only even need one can, but I put two on here just to be safe. And then the fun part, um, to seal the fur, I'm actually going to be using a lot of hairspray. Um, I think a really lightweight, flexible hold hairspray is better for the main fur suit. And you would, you need to layer the hairspray in sections, um, and let it build as opposed to using something too strong and then having the fur set in a way that you don't like and then having to brush it out and potentially getting flaking. So uh, hairspray, I think I'll need two bottles. I, I'll need a firm set for the main, uh, but it's eight bucks. Not too bad. 20 bucks to seal. When seals a huge step is nothing, you guys. People spend lots of money to seal. I'm just lucky that this particular build, um, it doesn't cost very much to seal this. Um, one of the last steps is attachments, but it's one of the most important steps. And again, you can go back to TNT Cosplay Supply um, and because I just like ordering everything at once. I don't like paying multiple shippings. I know most people have Amazon Prime now, but I just like to get everything at once and know that it's all in the same box. Just easy for me. So you can get buckles and D-rings and nylon webbing and all of this. $20. And again, I already have all this, so I don't have to spend that money. But now you know that your attachments shouldn't be, you know, too much money here. D-rings are cheap. Nylon webbing's cheap. You know, you should be pretty good to go. Now, the last one is accessorize. Now, a part of this build could have ended up in this category, uh, like the seed beads, for example, uh, but I ended up putting them under build materials. The reason why I included this category is because even though this build doesn't really have accessories too much, um, notice I put the whole curse words right there because accessories are damn expensive. Expensive, you guys. Holy mother of frick. Batman, it's expensive. So anyway, uh, accessories are something people don't think of till last minute and they're very expensive um, when you add them up. Again, shoes, wigs, makeup, stuff like that. Earrings, yeah, stick on nails, whatever, eyelashes, eyelashes, oof. Anyhow, accessories can really add up. So whether it's a big build like this, whether it's a simple build, just don't forget to add in your accessories and don't plan them out last minute. I promise you it'll be a big cost to your build 
um, you know, depending on what you're doing. This one, again, doesn't really have many accessories. Uh, but that's it. That's it for budget, you guys. I tried to breeze through this as fast as possible, but you know, it's a big build, so it's got a lot of stuff. This is how I budget my cosplays. Uh, again, let's go over it. We have pattern, right? Break that down. Assemble and build. Break that down for the cost of your materials. Prime, paint, seal, attach, accessorize. Seven things. Break it all down, put it in different categories. And the great thing is these categories happen in order of how you do them. So if you don't have the budget for attachments yet, that's okay. Um, we're going to get to the next part of this build process, um, part four, and we'll talk about uh, time budget. So if you know that you don't have to do attachments until, you know, month three or month four, then you've got time to afford them. So that's why this budget list is so important. So as you can see here, grand total to make Bane Bloodhoof, if I had to buy all the materials and didn't have any in reserve, would be about $1,124.00. 41 cents oh my goodness <sighs> oh Ugh. but that's what it is and now you know and oh oh don't forget shipping and handling if you have to travel with it um i've done blizzcon i've done twitchcon um where i've had to ship supplies um and you know this might end up being another video so i'm just going to breeze past this real quick but make sure that you know exactly the largest size box that USPS or, you know, FedEx or whatever will ship. Last I checked, FedEx has the largest size boxes you can ship um, for the most affordable price. So get the dimensions of what that box will be ahead of time and make sure your largest prop will fit in it. But uh, uh, yeah, that's the basics. If you guys have any questions, <laughs> please drop them below in the comment section. I'm happy to answer any questions, um, even about previous builds. If you want to know how much previous builds cost. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe because I still have yet to put out part four of this build, which is how to time budget your cosplay. So I hope you're as excited about this build as I am. I have not started building it yet, but I've started ordering the materials and well, because I made this list, I knew what to expect. So I will see you next time. Uh, again, yeah, hit like and subscribe. Thanks you guys.